So the, the first really interesting myth that, that's out there that's really confusing for people is this saturated versus unsaturated fat. What does it even mean? I think most people now think, oh, all animal fat is just pure saturated fat, which is not true. In fact, there's no such thing as pure saturated fat in nature. So, for instance, this is olive oil. Uh, it's got saturated fats in it, uh, fatty acids that are saturated, and it's the, it's the proportion of saturated to unsaturated fatty acids that sets the melting point of this stuff, but it's not pure unsaturated fat. The key for losing weight is to just have less of all of them, and the key to good health is probably to not have too much saturated stuff because it does affect your uh, the fluidity of your cell membranes. OK, yeah. let's put uh, losing weight to one side. Mm. Let's just concentrate on being healthy, a healthy sure. diet. Yeah. Yes. OK. We were once told, just eliminate all fat. Not good for you, particularly animal fat. But now we're, we're told, really, a bit of fat is good for us. In fact, it's essential. I think the pendulum swung way too far um, against fat and, and also against carbs. This black and white thinking about you can't have any of that stuff, whether it's fat or carbs, is completely misguided. Like, you can't not have fat in your diet. It's, it's almost impossible to not have at least some fat. And um, so, of course, if you want to be healthy, eat plants and not too many of them. That's kind of the, the golden rule and, and a little bit of animal. And, yeah. and Carl, I'm also confused perhaps when I go shopping in that I think, OK, if that's low fat, is it the case then it's likely to be higher in carbs which are then converted to sugar? Well, they did do that trick with um, many of the low fat foods. They just shoved in lots of sugar to make it more attractive. And on one hand, what do they say that sugar is a toxin and a poison? Yes, that's another wonderful myth. Sugar is not poison. By the same logic that says that sugar is poison, you'd have to say that water is poison. Because if you have too much water in a short time, you can die from it. It's called uh, fatal water intoxication. Sure. So that's, that's the case, like, moderation is the key, yeah. surely. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, Paracelsus sure. said this half a thousand years ago. All drugs are poisons. What matters is the dose. Three litres of water a day, fine. Thirteen will kill you. Right? Fluoride has got a much bigger uh, safety overload range than water has. So on a multiplication factor, fluoride is less dangerous than water. In fact, it's not dangerous at all. And with sugar, well, that's two kilos. Two kilos. This is a lethal dose of sugar. In toxicology, they talk in LD50, lethal dose that will kill 50% of your test organism. Hang on. So if you, you mean if you consume that in one hit? Yes. Well, that could potentially and, be And the provisos? And the, the yeah, and the, the rule is that you know if if uh, say a days? thousand people who are seventy kilograms eat this, half of them five hundred are like likely to die if they eat this much sugar in one go for a hundred days. So if you eat two kilograms of that stuff every day for a hundred days, fifty percent of that population will die. And so in that sense, it's lethal. But just putting a bit of sugar in your cup of tea, well, you don't need it. But it's not going to kill but you. No one's saying that you can just have as much sugar as you like. But to go all the way to saying that it's poison is going too far the other way, and we're, ca we're causing all this confusion, like you're feeling with mm. your kids, you know. Yeah. Can you give them a lolly once in a while? Of course you can. Um, but should you give them a whole bag of lollies every single day of their life? That would be crazy. Yeah. Well, it's more just all the processed foods. You don't know exactly what's in it, do well, you? Well, that's right. And so make, make the food for them yourself as much as you can, I'd say. I mean, I'm not a parent. But um, you know, if you're buying stuff in packets all the time and you're not reading the labels, then maybe you should have a bit of a think about that. OK, so, I mean, we certainly want to be healthy, but, of course, there are some people that want to lose weight also. Mm. Now, some people are lucky, genetically. Mm. They're predisposed to being skinny. Why is it the case? Does that all come down to metabolism? Well, so... What the, the genetics are very interesting. It's very hard to know why a third of people are not overweight. What's different about them? And uh, so what we do know is that there's no lucky skinny people who for some reason have this amazingly fast metabolism that allows them to sit around eating burgers and whatever they like all day. A study was done in 1999 to show that those people that when they eat more uh, and yet they don't seem to put on weight even though they're not exercising more, this study found that actually if you watch them really carefully, they're fidgeting. Uh, and there's a lot of movements that we put into our day that just don't show up as exercise. As in you're sitting like... at your desk. Yep. And you, your fidgeting. leg is... Fidgeting, absolutely. Jigging, yep. So is when it you... a fancy name? Neat? Yes. Non-exercise non activity thermogenesis. And a dedicated fidgeter 
and I'm talking about somebody who's just r r annoyingly fidgety, they will burn up as much energy in a day as it takes to run a marathon. But wow. you've, got to work, you've, got to, you've got to have your really annoying fidgeter. And they can eat their own body weight and hamburgers, right? So you wear a Fitbit with that or what? Well, well this, was, this is a really great study that was done because this activity won't show up on a Fitbit. This kind of activity, this jitteriness. Um, so, for instance, we're sitting still. If we stand up and start combing our hair, our metabolic rate will be two and a half times faster than it is now just sitting here talking. We're too black and white at the moment. It's, it's all or nothing. We've got born-again eaters who are telling us you can have this, but you can't have that. Everything in moderation is OK. Reuben. Science says so. Reuben, Carl, happy eating. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.